One thing about my man, no time you have go 3 a.m. extend him like to my girlfriend. Go by hi bo. What is this? Tell me about it. In look, yeah, you are in look. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of Tunazipo for those who don't know. And if you're new to my channel, I hope this video will convince you enough to subscribe by the end of it. Yes, baby, subscription is free of charge. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So yeah, guys, hence I said on my previous post that um, the next vlog that I'll be posting, it will be a mukbang mukbang i don't know how they say it so yeah guys i'll be doing a story time and i'll be telling you guys about the most traumatic thing that has ever happened to me like that thing was traumatic and it's something that i won't forget easily and yeah and it's also the reason why i won't date men from that other flag so yeah guys today we will be sipping on some Banini, banini for the babies. It's a Friday, obviously. Please plug yourself, guys, with a banini, cause baby, baby, yo, I look so good. But I see collab. Please plug yourself, guys, with a banini. It looks so beautiful. Oh, I just can't wait to take my first sip. And I'll be also having um a pizza. I bought myself a Debonair's. Yep. I'll be also having a pizza. I know this is a lot for one person, but I'm going to share with my brother. Obviously, I'm just um doing this for the sake of the video. And then um once I'm done shooting this video, I'll give some to my brother. So yeah, guys, let me first start with opening my baby banini. Let me open my baby banini. Yo, guys, I know I look so beautiful. I tried that new foundation that you guys are going to see on the next vlog. So please plug yourself with it, guys. Yo, it's so beautiful. It sits well on your skin. So plug yourselves. Ugh, what am I doing? So plug yourselves, guys. For my glass, I'm going to pour myself a panini, my baby. So, yeah. Isn't it pretty? Yes, I'm trying to try to make it go. How? See the same woman over the bush. Yo, guys. Oh, so beautiful. I just want to take my first sip. So, yeah, guys. Oh. If you're not a Benini Han, what are you waiting for, baby? What are you waiting for? Well, let me just pour. So, guys, back in 2019, you know, when you go to varsity, hey, we were all ganging for like, okay, not all of us, but some of us. We were like, if we, if we can get like Nigerian man, Nigerian man alive, Nigerian man at this, and you get like, and you get your friends telling you, Woody, your friend, I'm dating a Nigerian man, and I'm sweaty luto. And I was like, okay, let me try. But I was like, let me just give it a try and see who seems open at the end, guys. I'm safe to say men from that flag are just not for me. I'll stick to my South African brothers. Let me tell y'all a background story of how this thing happened. So it was back in in twenty. It was back in 2019 and I was a first year at UJ. So yeah, I was just exploring myself, getting to meet new people and, 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 and the rest is history. So guys. Yeah, excuse the sounds of eating for those who don't like them, but... I don't have a choice. I'm doing a mukbang here. So, you know, first year, you guys, nepa, panji. You're just ready for varsity and, 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 and. So, okay. There's this other time I met a dude on Facebook. So, the dude was like to me, can we meet up? Um... 
let's go have lunch you know i was like okay cool no problem i'm keen with that so um this is a background story guys but the guy that i'm going to talk about it's not the one that i met on facebook so yeah so it was this one time it was a um oh i went to go meet up with the dude so when i was waiting for the guy at uh because we met at assisting carlton center i think he was from tembisa and i'm from the south so i told to be specific dobsonville and we met in town because obviously that's like the 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 place a good place to meet up because we only can get one taxis each to get there so we were like let's just meet up in town so while i was waiting for that guy i was waiting outside carlton center um while i was waiting for him so there's this other guy that was coming in set the mall so um let's just give this guy a name my goodness let's give him a name let's say i'll use my brother's name so cool while i was still waiting for the guy that i met on facebook mtogazisi is approaching um the the entrance of the mall so i was waiting besides the door you know the besides the main entrance of the mall so that it would be easier for him to see me when he enters the mall so cool while i'm waiting mtogazisi comes to me i was busy like on my phone pressing and asking this facebook guy uguti hey daughter ugebi so um so as he comes to me he's like um um hi i'm like hi how are you he's like i'm good he's like oh you look so beautiful and i was like thank you you know and he was like i waiting for someone i was there um actually waiting for my date because i have a date with this guy today and he was like oh that's nice so <clears throat> um can i please have your number maybe one day we can go out on a date and mind you guys um this was one of the guys from the flag that everyone is blabbing about cool um i gave him um, this my numbers i was like yo dude just leave because this guy he just told me that he would like he's taking off in in two minutes and he was like okay cool i'll call you blah 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 i was like okay fine bye and then he went i waited for him to go see we went on our date i waited for the facebook guy what am i saying <laughs> excuse me guys i've got sinuses so i waited for the um, facebook guy and um he got there and we went on our date it was nice joking it was boring he didn't even buy me lunch literally all we did was to just sit beside it's a story for another day <laughs> yeah as in men i asked cool later on that day i come back home boom i get a a call he's not even texting guys calling he's like hi how are you i'm like hi i'm good it's like um I really liked your personality today um um did you see the big car that i was driving i stopped because i saw you i was like no i didn't even see your car like honestly guys i didn't and he was like i had to stop because i saw you and i hope um you enjoyed that two minutes um conversation i had with you i was like ah dude it is just two minutes nothing more and he was like to me i would like to take you out on a date so i was like okay cool not problem because really guys i'm not dating the facebook guy it was just our first date so i was just exploring other men you get so cool and then we set up a date He's like, he's gonna 
he's gonna tell me when he's free i was like just make sure it's a friday because i won't be around Joe for quite some time and he was like okay cool no problem very very guy on friday i went for my so at uj on fridays normally would have like tutorials so on that day it was not like a tutorial it was like a some sort of presentation companies were coming to us and presenting their products to us and we had to choose which brand we want to work with and we had to sell their products to people so yeah it was just that so we had a presentation while i'm in class i get like a text message it's from this guy he's like um can i take you out on a date today i was like okay cool bra but i'm still in class and he was like where you at i'm like no i study at um uj and he was like no i can pick you up it's even not far i was like no dude i need to go back home and change because the clothes that i'm wearing um are not clothes for like lunch you know so he was like okay cool no problem and then he asked um where i stay i was like no i said i stay in soweto and he was like okay cool um just go home and then you'll tell me when you are done freshening up and then i'll request an uber for you we'll meet up at the nearest mall closer to you mind you guys nearest mall closer to me okay cool i was like no problem and he asked um which mall closer to me had decent um restaurant and i was like oh maponya mall because i think there was still a news cafe there i can't remember quite well there was still a news cafe at maponya <clears throat> so i was like oh maponya mall I was like okay cool no problem so when i got home guys mind you my mom and dad they know that i went to school and my class ends at 12 o'clock 12 o'clock to half past pretty half past one i have to be home by that time that's what my parents know so cool i get home i quickly change i change i change i change i change i send my mom a text i'm like yo i'm i'm gonna come back late today um i'm going out with a friend and my mom was like okay cool just don't come back late 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 i was like okay cool girl so when i'm done freshening up i take them togo's i'm like in togo i'm done and he's like okay let me request an uber um for you to maponyamon definitely he did requested an uber for me to maponyamon and guys guess what when i got to maponyamon i still had to wait for him he was late <laughs> yeah he was late so when he he got there he sends me a text he's like must you know my car i'm driving this big black car you'd see you'll see it it's it's the one that will um that um is bigger than all these cars that are here by the parking lot i'm like dude why am i still coming into your car because i'm standing right next to news cafe and he's like okay cool wait i'm coming so he comes he's like to me i was like oh this is the place um that we're coming to we can just go inside and look for a waiter and he's like no i have a suggestion i don't like this place it's so crowded i don't trust soweto blah 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 because people underestimated soweto hey and he was like i don't like it um let's go to southgate i was like what are we gonna have at southgate because that mall literally has no decent restaurants at least here there's like a news cafe so i was like no let's just go to southgate so in my head i'm thinking Guti, when he says southgate we are going probably to go Reef city by the casino side okay cool guys so from maponya mall now we are going to um southgate of which it's not far so i get sing in a i get inside this big car So, sorry about that, guys. So, I get inside that big car that he's been telling me about. <sighs> Man. So, we drive to, um, we drive to the road that leads us to Southgate. Dugu, dugu, one minute, guys, when we have to go straight, nigga takes, like, an off-ramp that's taking us to a highway that's going to Johannesburg CBD. 
I was like, dude, where are we going um, to town? He was like, oh, I just remembered. Closer to where I stay. I think he said he stays at Yeovil, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere there. He was like, closer to where I stay, there's like a beautiful, decent restaurant that we can try, the both of us. I've been wanting to go there and blah, 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 blah. Now I start to be uncomfortable, you, you understand, guys? Because nigga said, Maponya Mall. Now we at Maponya Mall. He's like Southgate. Southgate, umuntu shinch and and you're not even telling me. Good see, we are no longer going to Southgate. We are going to Yeovil. I'm like nigga, but you didn't tell me. So I start like sitting uncomfortable um on the chair, and he keeps on asking, "Good, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay?" Guys, mind you, in my head, instantly when he kept on changing like locations, I was like. I will never see my parents again. This is the last time. This on this day is probably the last day I'm alive. And it was probably the last day I saw my mom in the morning. And I was like, I told my mom I'm going out with a friend and do go do I'm in the car. Gwenzagalan, guys, I was so scared of my life because I need joy lang at that thing, you know. And he um I like I kept on looking outside the window just to see Guti, wouldn't I be able to jump off the car and then roll? But while I look down, like it clicks instantly that my mom and my dad, what would they think of me when they found me here? Blah 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 blah. Guys, I was so scared. I was so scared of my life. And he could also see that I'm not comfortable now. I'm just like, dude take me home or request an uber to take me home cool when we get to town umuntu guys in listen to this so when we get to um to town where he has to take an off ramp to new town he's like to me oh let's just go to new town um and then i'll buy you a mcdonald's so i'm like a mcdonald's i look this beautiful for a mcdonald's and he's like yeah let's just go let me just go buy your mcdonald's and then we'll go to my place we will sit there and i just remembered that i have leftovers for yesterday i'm like what happened to the restaurant that you said we are going to closer to your place and he's like no i think it's kind of boring i was like if i don't run away from this guy when we get to Newtown, I will never get another chance to run away. Because once we get to his place, Angas Mundo number one in town. What if Lai Mr. Corner, it's where they normally keep girls for human trafficking. I was like to myself, no baby, you got to think fast. So, um, he missed an off-ramp. Yeah. Um that takes us to newtown mall so i was like to him just take this off ramp because i know my ways um in Joburg, you know so i was like just turn here turn here turn here and then i took him to the uh, mcdonald's closer to what's this place closer to um, library gardens so there's like a mcdonald's this side and the library gardens is this side so i took him to a mcdonald's closer to that place and mind you guys the next street is where i get my taxes coming back. and i was like baby you gotta think smart so i told the guy oh so he ordered for me whatever that i wanted and then i went inside the toilet guys he's still buying me a meal only not even buying himself a meal he just bought for me so i went inside the i went inside the toilet and then when I got into the toilet, I remember texting this other girl, Ubonniwe. I was like, yo, bruh, I think I'm about to be human trafficked. Like, she also started panicking. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I was like, yo, dude, wait a minute. I'll tell you. Let me just think of a plan of how because he's probably going to do something to me you know so cool um 
I went inside the toilet, and a plan came. I wanted to escape, um, run away from him while he's still waiting for my order. But the problem was that he was waiting closer to the door, so he would probably see me when I ran away. So cool. Um, after that, um, uh, I came out the toilet and I went to him. I was like, yo, I'm sorry for taking long. I got a call and my mom is calling me asking, Guti, where am I? We have to go somewhere. Um, so she needs me immediately. She's giving me an hour to get home. <sighs> Okay, so cool. Must put my outside the McDonald's. He's like to me, um, get in the car. Let me take you to um to Bree. I was like, no, I don't catch my taxis at Bree. And he's like, where are you catching your taxis? I was like, the next street is where I catch my taxis, so we can just walk instead of you driving me there cool and then we walked so when we got there guys like his phone kept on ringing all the time when i was with him i think i missed that part guys so his phone kept on ringing i think there was someone asking him which where are you where are you where are you and he kept on saying which i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming but he was speaking in a different language but i could tell they're asking him which where are you because he kept on telling the person that I'm passing, blah, blah, blah. I'm passing this place. I'll be there in a few minutes. So, yeah. So, when we were... So, when um, we were walking to where I catch my taxis, um, he, he takes out his phone. It, it was not even ringing. I don't know what kind of stunt he was pulling he was like oh hello okay okay i'm coming <laughs> hey guys man he was like oh hello i'm coming i'm coming and he was like to me oh i i can't um i can't walk with you till we get to your taxis um i just got a call from one of those guys guys literally this doesn't even make sense so you see these guys that normally help you with the packing in town he was like, I got a call from one of those guys that were helping me with the packing. Um, um, he's like, um, there's police behind my car. Apparently, he had parked on a wrong place where he was not supposed to park at. I was like, okay, cool, bro. It's okay. I can see my taxis while I'm standing here. And he was like, okay, no problem. Like, guys, he digged into his pocket. He gave me some money. That was the good part about meeting with him. He gave me some money and he left just like that. Guys, I was panicking that time. I was panicking. When he gave me that money, I was just like, at least he is gone. Now what do I do? So mind you, I leave with the McDonald's and I also leave with the money that he gave me. Sharp. So when I... So then I called my friend. I was like, yo, friend, I managed to escape. He was like, how? I'm like, yo, wait, let me get home. I'll tell you. Guys, the whole way going home, I was thinking to myself, but God is good. And on that day would have been like the, the last day where I saw my parents. So guys, fast forward to 2019. That happened 2019, 2021, 22. I think this year, if not, no, last year. So last year, um, I was walking in town and guys, guess what? There's this dude coming behind me and he's like, hi. I'm like, hi. Hey, guys, when I looked at him, it was that guy. Like, I was so shocked. I went inside the first store that I saw. I acted and then he passed inside the store. I told that lady, yo, bra, I'm not even here to buy. I'm just scared of that guy. Like, I just summarized the story for the lady. And then the lady was like, Ugh, we are used to that one. It's, it, 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 it's his job. That's what he does every day. Chase after girls, 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 girls. So I was like, I don't even know. Was I even going to get human trafficked or something? And then the girl was like, Ugh, any man that you meet in town, just don't take that man seriously. And I was like, I see, even any man that I meet in town, any man 
that speaks that foreign language i will never i will pooming up and so yeah guys that's the story of why i would never date men from that flag and that's the reason why and how i almost got human trafficked so yeah guys if you liked my video please give it a huge thumbs up and please comment down below of your experience with men from that flag and yeah guys if you have ever experienced a similar situation in your life please comment down below and yeah if you've got nothing to say just say sis your makeup excuse it so yeah guys see y'all on my next vlog bye <laughs>